hello Sagittarius, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general love reading for uh, June. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and uh, feeling regarding yourself and of course vice versa as well. Guys, feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. It is time to... Okay, so if you click in the uh, description bar below, you see where it says start reading, click on that and that will... That would just bring you to the start of the reading. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on the camera. As I always say, please, <clears throat> excuse me, um, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, but I picked up on your situation, you know, you can always hang around or stick around and sometimes there could be just messages that jump out and speak to you. So I'm just going to take this in. If you do see extra cards, uh, they're just for clar clarification purposes. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm just going to take these in. So, uh, Sagittarius, let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up. As uh, this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you could always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right. This is an interesting read, Sagittarius. Interesting read. This person here, and this is either the recent past, not sure how long, how, I can talk how long ago in the past, but this is, you know, they, 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 in their thinking, we've got the nine of cups, which talks about happiness. So they have good thoughts about you. It's like they've woken up to the fact that I feel like maybe this person, not sure, there's definitely be some separation, some time apart with this person, but I'm not sure who initiated that time apart or who initiated that breakup. Um, but it seems like right now, or at some point in the recent past, they could be experiencing this now. Uh, they they kind of woken up. <laughs> You know, sometimes it does that with time passing as well. They've got the realization card there, that page of source. So they've woken up, they've realized something. But with that realization, it's created this burden. It's like, oh, no. You know, when you start to see the writing on the wall and it's like, oh, no. Um, and they're finding it quite difficult to take accountability for that. They're quite, quite, finding it quite difficult to actually see, uh, take a, you know, face that, really, with the shadow card there, uh, the shadow side. Where with you, um, but they do have that ace of swords. Oh, which we'll get to in a minute. But with you, it's like, okay, you know, you dealt with this pretty good, you know, feel like your focus turned to work uh, with the ace, with the ace, with the eight of pentacles there. Your focus either turned to work, um, whether that's career work or business work or, or, yeah, or that could be internal work, working on yourself as well. Some level of focus on work, working on something, putting work into something. Um definitely determined as well with that emperor card there it's like okay you just had your leadership hat on it was like just okay I'm, I'm gonna take um control of this situation and lay a foundation to something new to the ace of wands this opportunity to kind of create something new that newness like i said could be at the work or internal work work within yourself um and for you it's like okay well i'm gonna move walk away from this walk away from regardless of how tough it is i'm gonna walk away from this move away from this even if things were left un unsaid um, i didn't get you know the opportunity for some of you the opportunity to express or communicate what i was feeling or what i'm feeling um it's like okay but i'm gonna walk towards that ninth cup that that ninth cup where, a place where i start to feel better a place where i start to feel good about me and my life um and there was this you know one in one in victory wanting to be victorious in that Something long term as well. Whatever this working on is long term. You're, you know, this is something that you wanted to uh, see within your life long term. Where with this realization for them, this wake up, it, it kind of generated this idea or a solution. I feel like this solution was okay. Now I'm gonna try and get this back. The problem that they face is the seven of wands. So it feels like for some of you. This is well meaning for friends or acquaintances. Uh, it could be one or two or more people. 
um, just kind of defending you in some way, uh, vouching for you in some way. It seems like this person has to uh, defend their self against these people or against this person with the seven of wands. It seems like they have to try and get past them. It's like, it's like they take in uh, this judgment there from others um, towards them. Just kind of in protective mode regarding you. You might not even be aware of it, uh, but just definitely in there to protect you. This they're, they're doing it on your behalf, type of thing. You're representing that Queen of Wands. You know, highly attractive. You know, ambitious, driven, and um, just the recognition of you know this person's gonna, you know, they add value to me in some way. They make me feel good. They make my life better with that Sun card there. So they're kind of showing up as a six now, and it's like they're in, they're just thinking about you, they're just kind of memor uh, thinking about memories of you, memories of the experiences that you've had, just, you know, just thinking about you. <laughs> you're always on their mind, always on their mind. And for you, you're showing up as the temperance. So I'm not sure whether you've gotten wind or wind of this person trying to kind of get you back, or there's been some, you know, rumblings within the, atmosphere about this person kind of coming back um which has caused you to be in a place where you're kind of maybe ready to a degree to just you know to create harmony between you and this person but there is this indecisiveness going on there because it's like for you it's like all right this situation ended Yes, uh, but th there's there's a passion and desire for me to just kind of move forward in a positive way. And I don't want to let go of that. I don't want to let go of what I've already built. I've not, I don't want to let go of what I've been working on. I don't want to let go of what's kind of, you know, working and starting to work for me. This this new lease of life that I've gone um, just through, you know, moving ahead, moving ahead towards something that you're creating or birthing. Like I said, this just could be within yourself as well. So you're hesitant. So you're hesitant. This person might have already reached out to you as well for some of you guys, but there's hesitancy there. Um, they've definitely decided upon you, but it's like for them, it's like, how do I, I can't see a way forward. I can't see a way, like I said, for some of them, you know, they've been blocked by well-meaningful friends, acquaintances or something. Um, with that seven there. So it's like, I can't see a way. I don't know how to, or what to do, what direction to take this, how to take this. So there's a stuck. They feel stuck. They're kind of stuck. Unable to move. But they do have that queen of cups. So don't think that you've gotten, I've gotten rid of this person because you haven't. There's a level of patience that they're displaying. Um, Sagittarius with that queen. You know, the tower there, of course, acknowledging that things have, have happened between you, but still willing to take a risk on this, a level of drive and passion uh, to move forward, to get and attain what it is that they're wanting, which is, which is you, which is you. So who knows what action this person takes next? Because usually at this point, we move into part two of the reading. We get a, um, we kind of get, get a fuller picture on where this moves to next. For those of you that are interested in, <clears throat> let me just clear my throat. Good gosh, guys. Um, but I will be implementing that next week, guys. So just look out for that. But as it stands, as it stands, as it stands, you're right. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. You know, you've worked hard on something. It took great effort to kind of, and determination to get yourself moving um, and into this better feeling place that you're kind of starting to feel or have felt for quite a while for some of you guys. So you don't want to rock that. You don't want to lose that with this person coming back. Um, yeah, you just you just don't want nothing to, to tamper with that, really. You know, you don't. Is this person going to tamper with that? We're not sure. Um, but I tell you that they have, like I said, woken up to some form of realisation. If they could take accountability, because it's all good realising, you know, that you make them happy and that they're happy with you but are they able to take accountability and would that you know make the appropriate moves to change 
what caused the breakdown in the relationship um, prior to this? That's the that's that's the question ultimately. You know, so yes, it's good them wanting you back, but are they able to make the the changes that's that you both need or that the connection needs? And that, of course, that's if you're willing to. That's if you're willing to. So hopefully this has given you some form of clarity. I hope for those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. That's something that interests you, as they say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day and I shall see you next week.